Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kaylee, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome feather bowl. So what you'll need for this project is an old Tupperware like this, some Mod Podge, a balloon, scissors, and a bunch of pink and purple feathers, along with a brush, and I'm going to be using some latex gloves so that I don't get glue all over my fingers. Okay, so I picked out all the colors of feathers that I want to use. I'm going to be using pink and purple this time. And what I'm going to do to get the feathers ready is to just trim away this really rigid part right here because it doesn't wrap around the balloon very well. So I'm just cutting like right about here. Okay, so now all of my feathers look about like this. They're really soft and you can kind of bend them on the side. So now I'm gonna blow up this balloon. So I'm gonna blow it up just big enough to fit in the top of my Tupperware container. And this is the part that'll be covering with Mod Podge and feathers. So now I'm just gonna place my feather on the balloon here. Then I'll start painting on the Mod Podge. This is probably going to get really messy and look kind of weird, but hopefully it'll turn out really cool when it dries. So far I've only tried this technique with glitter, but I saw this with feathers and I knew that I had to try it. And don't worry if you get a lot of Mod Podge on there because this is going to dry clear. The trick is I just want it to lay flat, so I'm going to put as much glue on there as I can until it does. I'm also trying to fan out the feathers with my brush so that I can get as much coverage of the balloon as I can. Okay, so once you've got all the feathers on that balloon and it's pretty much completely covered, I am going to just paint some more Mod Podge on here just to make sure everything sticks. And I'm going to just really pat it on really thick. And that way I know that the feathers will stick together. Okay, time to let this dry for about two hours. Okay, so now the feather bowl is totally dry and I'm gonna start just kind of pulling it away from the cup because it's sort of glued to it. I'm just pressing in really lightly. And then once I get it off this cup here, Now I am going to deflate the balloon. Just like to cut like a tiny little hole. And then I can start working the balloon away from the bowl. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so cool. I didn't think this was gonna turn out, but that looks awesome. You know what, you guys? I think my feather bowl turned out even better than the glitter bowl. I really like this one. I'm definitely gonna make more of these in different colors. If you guys wanna see more fun craft tutorials like this one, just click on the thumbs up. This is Kaylee for DCTC, and thanks for watching.